Hello and welcome into the Melrose Showroom in Las Vegas. I'm Leanne Moyers. And I'm Ken Fetgator. You know, we are here for day two of our top 100 bestsellers list. We did the first set yesterday in the other showroom. Yes. That was fun. It was a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to today as well. You know, we had some things before the show started that we knew were going to be super hot. Super hot trends that the Melrose folks had identified for us, including insect decor. We knew that was going to be hot. Yes, we expected that. But there was a few things that came a little unexpected, which was welcoming. You know, one of those things happened to be in wall art, in our new wall art category, because Melrose went out and they purposely searched the globe for some new suppliers that had a lot of experience. We're going to bring us some high quality products, but bring us some values. Yes, yes. And some of the wall art we're going to share with you right now, it's right here. You'll find in our beachfront area. Uh, exceptional pieces. Love the coloration on them, the light aqua skies, the golden trees, a little bit of the blue, light blue water, but they're stretch canvas and the price points on these two pieces are incredible. And you know what I love is I just like the, the quality of the depth of all the colors of the pieces and how it's dimensional. Like I like that glazing, I like that extra little bit that's on there, but the other thing I notice is these pieces are not framed. No, they're not. It's just stretch canvas, and they rank pretty high, if I remember, Leanne. Oh, they did. I mean, our top two new pieces of wall art, and again, I think that's kind of price-driven, but this new vendor also provides to us some pieces that are framed, and they have a new type of framing, which is offset framing. Yes, and this other selection we're going to share with you right now, this artwork is that inset, and what I like about it, it adds additional depth because the canvas is actually smaller than the frame. It kind of gives a little shadow. Yes, it does. And it adds that little excitement and a little different. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I think that's something that even though it was brand new for us here at these markets, they did not make the top 100. I think by next show season, we're going to see people grabbing that up. Oh, I do too. Um, as we move through here, we're going to talk about the herons and the cranes. They are just outside of that top 100 list, but those give us a lot of vertical height. And you often talk about how we need to have more items like that for stores. Oh, yeah. That, something with exaggerated height to put on any table. And these two birds really fit that bill. Perfectly. And as we move through this front entry area here in Las Vegas, um, we see another one of those new pieces that is a unframed canvas piece. This one with the multiple birds. And this one is our second highest frame, uh, I'm sorry, non-frame piece of wall art that came in for this season for us. Yeah, this is probably my favorite piece of wall art this year. I love the birds. I love the water, the beautiful crest. And as you mentioned, the way they're using some of the glazed paints on there that really gives a dimension to the crest of that water. It's probably hard to see for the viewers on the camera right now but you really enjoy it when you see it in real life. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, that's one of the things that draws me to it. But the other thing is that other set over there was two smaller ones, but the total space on the wall, and um, those two prints are about the size of this one. This is a large focal piece. Yes, it is. I believe it's about three by four. Might even be a little larger. Yeah, that's but a nice, it's pretty nice, nice. Now, as we drop down to the table, though, another category for us that seems to be growing year after year because of the quality of the product we're bringing in are the lamps. Yes, and this lamp I really like. It's got uh, that pillow that I call a pillow effect. Mm -hmm. And years ago in the industry, we introduced vases and we described them as a pillow because they're flat in front, flat in the back, but they have dimension to them. Well, you know, that's a term I wasn't familiar with, um, call them a pillow lamp. I like that. Can I steal that from you? You may, you may. And I really like the dimpling on these two pieces. The smaller lamp is more popular, but the the dimpling on there almost looks like a golf ball to me, and I, I think they're fun <laughs> pieces. We have it in the smaller one as well as the larger lamp. Uh, I think I'm impressed with both of them because of the lamp shade itself. I mean, you just don't see oval lamp shades like no. that. And I think it's rolled very nicely on the top edge, the bottom edge, and for me, seeing that linen effect is nice, but also seeing just the quality of the light diffusion itself coming off the lamp shade. 
Uh, I really like that smaller one yeah. too. And I believe that it was oval to complement the shape of the container or the lamp right. base, which is that pillow. Or I like to call it the kids don't knock it off the table as easily. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is rank number 52. That is our highest selling lamp that we have here for the season. Um, so that is one. If you haven't brought in Melrose lamps and you're thinking about it, that would be one that you want to pick up and add to your order. And now we're at this end of the showroom where we have all of these fountains. And Ken, nine out of our top 100 items are fountains. And that's really a tremendous number for us to throw out there. Oh, it is with the fountain category. Uh, our, but our fountains this year are exceptional. We have multiple different materials that they're made out of, multiple shapes, some contemporary, some classic, some just whimsical, but great looks. And you know, with fountains, um, we did a tutorial on this last year because it is something that is changing. We used to see only metal fountains, and now we have these different materials that we're working with that kind of um, expand and give us a little bit longer longevity with our fountains. Exactly. Some of them are, are composite pieces that weather, they're weather resistant, so they're great for outdoor use. Some of them are just made out of ceramic, and we know that does quite well outside as well. Now, Janet is showing this one here in the corner. This is ranked number 58. This is an incredible one. You did something before we started this morning, and I didn't get to stop you to ask you why you were doing it. Um, you were kind of rubbing the top of this. What was happening? Yeah, um, a lot of times with the fountains, especially the ones that have a sphere up here at the top, when the water first starts first thing in the morning, the water might just run down in a couple spots and split. And if you just gently take your hand and wet the whole sphere with the water, the water will continue to run over the whole sphere. Well, as we move around this corner, we're gonna see two more of our top 100 items that are fountains. Um, something's a little different. We, we're moving away from those slates and those gray colored ones, very artistic ones. And all of a sudden now we have two blue fountains here, but they're very contemporary. Yes, they are, and very popular. This first one that Janet is showing is ranked number 72. Um, He's got the two drops with it in two different lights. And so when I'm looking at a fountain, I want to know how it's going to sound. And it's got that nice soothing waterfall with the two, the two different drops into a pool of water. But also there's a nice glazing on the outside of this. And that kind of gives it that nice higher end look. Yes, it does. And the light effect in there is so popular right now. Because you want to not just hear the water, but you want to see it. And the light reflecting through the water, especially if you're setting out in the evening and watching the, I'm listening to your your fountain. Now this one in the corner though, this is super contemporary. Oh, I yes. love this one. Yeah, this... And so no pool of water for it to fall into. No, but you can still hear it. That's the amazing part. I can hear the water. It's actually falling into a pool inside, but wow. it's not visible from the exterior. So again, this one has that nice blue color, the glazing. Um, again, the materials make a difference. So this one is going to have those high quality materials for you at the way that it's made, especially for all you garden centers. I know you're looking for that. But then again, because it falls to the inside, just a little bit different. Right. Now, if we're talking about different sounds, when we get into the metal fountains, now we hear a ping. <laughs> yes, you do. It's a totally different sound, but it's, it's also mesmerizing because you hear it, you feel it. You, it's, it's just an incredible look. And what I like about the metal is the, also the finish on there that's slightly patinaed, so you're mm -hmm. getting a lot of that bluish green color through. And that color rust of metal is yes. so popular in today's gardens. You know, I had somebody say that they only pick their fountains based on how many times the water drops. And that one in the back there has been a bestseller of ours for a very long time just because how many different drops of water that it happens to have. They seem to value that by the number of drops. But I, I kind of like that hummingbird on that one in the front, and I think that's why it's in our top 100. Oh, yeah. The, the metal ones do very well. We introduced those first a uh, few years ago, and now, as you mentioned earlier, we're getting into all these other materials. But the fountains have grown for us, and they're continuing to be popular with all of our customers. Now we have this little kind of hidden wall over here. We're up to it in our top 100s. Um, we're kind of like on the side here. We're, this is an area where a lot of people just kind of run back and forth through here. But we have a bestseller that's been bestsellers for us for a long time and they hit that top 100 again. As a matter of fact, as high as number 25. And again, 25 out of 3,000 is pretty high. Uh, yes, it is. And this is just a few of our botanicals that we offer. This is a collection of four different fern 
plants. Mm -hmm. They're small, but I love how they have a powder, soft, almost a sage color uh, finish to them. Uh, they look great in our beachfront area, but they also look good with any of our garden well, collections. this would go with anything. Oh yeah, I mean, the these, color these is are, so these soft. These are good value too. Yes, they're great little plants that you can drop into containers, accessorize anything in your garden. Okay, so we have one other stem here that is in our top 100 and it happens to be number 38. Um, these have these little white flowers. They almost look like little dogwood flowers, but what is this? I, just mixed floral? It's just a, a, a whimsical flower branch, but I love the airness, uh, how light and airy that it is. Very. The blossoms are far apart, but this stem is all wired so you can shape it and create anything mm -hmm. you want to out of it. And it's a pretty long stem, so you, you can work that into several different you know, displays just to have your height. Oh, yes. Okay, so as we move through here, we're going to get to something that's kind of fun. We're going to talk about the frogs. Yeah, frogs are a great, great category for us. For some reason, everyone just loves frogs. <laughs> well, we have some top selling frogs, and they happen to be these three that are kind of hanging out. One's laying on his back, one's on his side, one's got his hands tucked up underneath of his chin. I, I kind of see that they're sunning. I do too, and I think what what really makes them popular is this is what we all want to do this is our <laughs> lifestyle this Let's is where this. we want to be relaxing in the sun and doing nothing and that one seat in the middle he's even got a little moss mat underneath him i mean what is, he's got life it's yes perfect. it's it is perfect well they are our highest ranked frogs that we have but we have a lot of different sets of frogs so it's hard to be the highest ranked set of frogs the next ones are these on the next shelf up that have the glazing on them so these are a little bit different they're a little, a little bit more putting them on your bookcase, making sure that they're a, a nice uh, accent. Right, they're a little more elegant. A frog can be elegant, but they but are. It's an elegant the, frog. The finish on them with that high polished glaze and the coloration of their bodies, they're lighter than their arms and their legs in color. I just think that the contrast makes them visually exciting. Well, they are ranked number 63. We have some other frogs that are 66. And we got, of course, um, these really tall sitting up frogs. They're in our top 100. And we have a really long and lounging frog. So, I mean, there are a lot of frogs to choose from here. You really can't go wrong with these frogs. No, the, that two that we were just sharing with you, they're popular, I think, because they look like they're stretched and elongated. Long neck frogs, I call them. The reaching for the sun. Yes. And then our, our really large frog that we can't forget over here. He's not quite our top 100, but he's close. Yeah, he's 134. Oh. I mean, and I can see him right along the edge of the patio. I can see him in your garden. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with him. Oh. He's fabulous. Set him on a brick wall, set him on a bench as we share with you here. There's so many things, and he's, he's a great piece. Um, as we segue on through, we also run into a few more of the insects. And when we talked about insects, we had some really strange stats. Like, in our top 20 products, we had seven insect sets. And then six of our top 12 were insects, including these here, which are a dragonfly and a butterfly. Yes, and I think the insects with the wings are more popular because hmm. they're more fun. They're, they're airy, they're light, they fly, they add so much extra animation to your home decor. That's a very, very good point. And I kind of think the details too, like I like these because you can pick them up, you can put these on a candle holder, these can go on any kind of container that you might have. You can hang these on a lantern if you wanted to. Um, there's just so much that you can do with them. I mean, you really don't even have to do that. You can actually just sit them down. Well, they're, more, they're versatile and they're functional. And I think that's why they're the most popular of the insects right now is because there's so many things you could do with them. Good point. Now, let's take a look at this table here. Um, we see a little bit more of that outside. And we are in garden living. And that's why we have so many fountains over here and so many of our outdoor insects and frogs. But here we have some mushrooms and they have a very interesting finish on them two different sets here and they are both in our top 100. Yes, they have that rusted uh, metal look on them or to them that makes them popular for any garden decorating right now. And what I really like about these pieces, this one that we're featuring right now has the three mushroom caps. We have a mm -hmm. larger one, well, it's about the same height, but it shows seven caps. So it's multiple mushrooms that come together. So you They're, like them more? Yeah, well, actually, I like them both. I would buy both of them and work them together. And I think, Leanne, what I really like about them is they look great on a tabletop like this if you're creating a, a tablescape. Right. Put a couple of bunnies or some birds resting under them, maybe, you know, shaded 
from the sun, mm -hmm. but I also think there'd be great pieces to function to put into your garden. Just work them right into the soil. Wow. They're based, they're weighted. Put your living plants around it. I think they're great accessories that for the garden. That is a really great idea, and that is not something I had thought of. Well, and I think the rust is a popular metal uh, accessory in the garden, and there's so many other rust things that we we have to offer. They might not be in the top 100, but they're great pieces that I think that could be in your garden, like these wind chimes that we have here. Mm -hmm. They add so much extra dimension because a lot of times we don't think about hanging things in your garden, but we all have trees in our oh, yard. Sure. I, I can see some of these pieces hanging from the tree, blowing in the breeze, our mushroom caps underneath, some of our other sculpts in the garden. Great accessory pieces. And we have on this table, we can't leave without talking about our rabbits and our bunnies because our rabbits and our bunnies, we have a lot of them in our top 100. But both of these skews, the set of three in the front, which is ranked number 35, and the taller ones in the back, which is 68, um, they're both in the top 100. So why is that, Ken? Why is that? Well, first of all, they're great sculpts. The artists that have created these take the bunny, they make it sort of whimsical. They look like they're alive. If you look at the fur on it, you almost feel like you can go up and pet it and they're going to be soft. But we know they're not. They're, they're not. made of resin. Right. But Leanne, I know you think the eyes are what draws you in. I do. I look at those little ones in the front and I feel like they're, I mean, the eyes look really, really good. They've got that nice glassy eye and, you know, to me it's just the more lifelike they are, that's why I'm drawn to them. Uh, exactly. And, and I would purchase both assortments. I love the smaller Absolutely. ones, but the larger ones you have to have too. Absolutely. If I'm a store owner, I'm definitely picking up both of those skews for those bunnies. And those are definitely ones that I'm going to make sure are my order if I already have other rabbits or bunnies. So we're going to move over here into this totally different look. Um, we have a lot of strong blues here in this look, a lot of the whites and the creams. Um, there's something that we see here other than the bunnies that are in our top 100 a lot. We have lots and lots of birds that make our top 100. And the top selling set of birds everywhere in our showrooms is a set of three at number eight. Again, the sculpts here are beautiful. They're whimsical birds, but and I think what draws me to them is the color blue. So many people like blue, and we have talked about how blue is that trending color that's going to be around for a long time. Right, right. And, and it doesn't matter the shade of blue, from blue greens to light blues to dark navy blues. These birds are more of a softer blue, but they have a little hint of the darker value coming through. And I really like the way they glaze them. That, that glaze on there, that. just on the top, you still see that raw clay underneath, but the beautiful shading of blue and cream glazes on the top that make this bird come alive. The other thing I really like about these birds, and I think this is why they're in that top spot, is because of the way that they're all looking in a different direction. One is looking down, one is looking up, and one is looking to the side. And for a designer or a store owner, um, that gives you a lot of different ways to have direct your traffic and direct it to other things. Oh, exactly. We, I, I had a retail shop for many, many years, and I relied on animals, critters, anything that had an eye. Because when the people look at it, that draws them in. So if I really wanted to add interest into a display, I put some type of animal or critter that had eyes into the display. It just brings them in. And the birds looking all different directions, that's reality. That's yes. what they do in nature. So display them all together. and Maybe somebody will be interested in one, but maybe they'll buy all three. Well, that would be great, wouldn't it? Yes. So as we're here in the back part of the showroom, um, we have another fountain back here, and this one happens to be down low, but it's got three birds on the top, and it's kind of got their own little bird bath. Yes, they do, and again, they're all looking three different directions. And now this was later in our top 100 list, but definitely should not be missed. Um, it is ranked number 92, 92 on this one. Um, I do like the little birds are sitting there, and I think this is the only fountain we have like that. It is. And, and so that's very nice, and I also, I really just kind of like the pool. Yeah, it, it's open. It gives you uh, some additional width uh, at the base, so it has perceived value. And just the birds resting on there, it's a, it's a great just little uh, capture of nature right there. Well, as we move through continuing in garden living, um, we have some lighted globes. And we sell a lot of lighted globes for holiday, um, but these are in our top list, and they have been before lighted globes because of the spring look. Exactly, and anything with a light feature seems to be very 
uh, popular and trending right now. And these spheres, they light up, obviously, but the decoration on the outside of the sphere, if they're hand-painted, uh, blossoms of the garden, but notice all the insects again because they're, yes. they're trending and popular. There's dragonflies, there's butterflies, there's bees. So it's all those insects of the garden in a circular format. Yeah, and I always like anything that's lit, anything that's got a little light. Now, we're going to hit two more things here before we leave Garden Living today. Um, these are our favorite that did not make the top 100. They're new for us, but they're definitely a Ken favorite, and they happen to be these hummingbird garden steaks. No, they weren't top 100, but they were also close, too. They're in uh, the top 200, I know, but I love these two metal garden steaks. The, the birds here, the hummingbirds, and we who doesn't like a hummingbird? But <laughs> these are beautifully done. I love the openness of their wings because they're made out of metal, but also wire. And it creates that illusion that they're larger than they really are, but they're also airy, and you can see through them. Well, it just and, makes you feel that they're light, and hummingbirds yes. are so light and small. And I know they're teal in color, but I love the color of teal. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of teal in my garden at home, and these two will be joining my garden. They will? Yes. Well, I think they might not be in the top 100, but they could be by next year. And then also we have these four enchanted little mushrooms in the front, and they happen to be one of my favorites this year, too. Um, again, not super hot sellers. I think they're going to probably make, find their way back. They have little wool caps on them that are super soft and little wooden bases where you can see the actual grain of the wood. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of these for my granddaughter and put them in her little enchanted room. Oh, I can totally see that. I think that color is whimsical and very, and very, very appropriate for a child's bedroom. But the combination of that wood and wool together just sets these, two, these four pieces off. Well, before we close up today, um, we have a recognition for Melrose, and we were selected as one of the showrooms that you don't want to miss. Eight showrooms were picked for this, and that is attributed to the fact that the Melrose team, a lot of people, yes. go into something like that, and um, a lot of your team was a big part of that, so congratulations for that. Thank you. We were very honored to get this award, and it, it just goes, I mean, we put in a lot of time yeah. and effort to get the showroom to looking as nice as it does and to be recognized for that it's an awesome feeling and if you haven't been into the melrose showroom here in las vegas we're still here for a couple more days you have plenty of time we are in c606 and 618 we are building c sixth floor we would love to see you here at melrose